Hey Scorpio, so this is January 2023, this is your five minute forecast, let's see um, what I can um, share and delight with you. Um, so um, where do I want to start? Well the first thing I think is that is important is to really recognise that Pluto plays quite an essential role in this month ahead. Not only is um, Pluto very close to the full moon um, in terms of um, his influence um, and and he is also in an opposition to Lilith, um, and Lilith is quite a tricky character. But on the full moon, uh, sorry, when the sun goes into the sign of Aquarius, Pluto is in a conjunction with it, um, setting us up for a very, very transformational um, January, end of January and February. And also the new moon has a very strong Scorpio aspect to it or a Pluto aspect to it. So your ruling planet, Scorpio, it, uh, Pluto is, sorry, Pluto is really starting to speak quite loudly this month. Um, now let's start with the full moon. So the full moon is um, showing up in a place of adventure and it's showing up in a place of your higher thought, the way you process external information, not the usual information that you grew up with, like this is how the world is. <laughs> the full moon is actually showing up in a place of um, exploration and adventure and higher spirituality, the higher mind. Now, if you're comfortable in that world, which I'm sure you are seeing as you're watching this video, um, this will bring up greater tensions and greater emotions. You'll be feeling a lot more emotional about things like um, religion and philosophy, the politics. Um, they could really, really get you going. Now, um, if you're not very comfortable with it, then it could be absolutely sort of outrageous amounts of energy and sort of maybe anger. I do think that this month, this full moon is, is pretty jippy. You know, there's some very, very difficult energies um involved in it and it's also in a square to chiron um yeah it's it's tough it's it's helping us to learn who we are and where our boundaries are now the key to this particular full moon is just to not take information very personally you know trust me when i share with you that you know we're all in this kind of big soup of information and we all have these ideas as to yeah I know this is true and that's not and blah de blah and on the 6th I just see it really really blowing up so big key for you is just to kind of step out of it if anything use this beautiful watery cancerian energy to to expand into the place of possibility for you because where it is in your chart is in a place of possibility so create dreams like create a new possibility for you to live outside of or to live within outside of the rest of the kind of collective bs that's going on now um i see on the 12th you'll be feeling a lot more um a lot more certain in what you know. For instance, it feels like people have been not very clear in terms of their, um, in terms of their, um, what's the word, their intentions towards you. It has almost felt like people have almost been manipulative and taking advantage of you a little bit and, and playing to the, the goodness in you um, and almost playing tricks on you, but not being very clear about it. That will clear up from the 12th, which I'm kind of excited about for you. Um, also, from the um, 18th, things start to move quite considerably in terms of your communications and how things are working. The 20th, the 21st, the 22nd are all times when things move very, very quickly in terms of how grounded you are in your everyday life and also in your home and in your family. It feels very significant. You know, what happens in your world from the 20th, 21st, 22nd could be really quite phenomenal. You know, any changes that you've wanted to make in your personal life, in particular, like your family, your very sort of like tight knit family and how you live in your house will, will really be, um, there's so much more energy for it. Let's put it that way. Um, now, the new moon is occurring on the 21st and it is in this place. It's in the sign of Aquarius, which is a difficult sign for you to kind of process. Um, they really want their freedom and they really want their independence and their auth uh, autonomy. And whilst you really like to do your own things, I'm wondering if you're very comfortable letting other people do their own things too. So the big challenge for you on the new moon is to recognize that you are comfortable with people being themselves, 
so that you can also be yourself. It's it's almost an opening to feel freer in terms of the um, expectations that exist between you and others. So use that really wisely. Anyway, that's your five minute forecast. I hope that was very useful to you, Scorpio. If you've enjoyed it, please do like, share and subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you back here next month. Lots of love to you. Have a great month ahead. Yeah.